Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. I'm going to give you some updates on the 1980 Buick Regal Sport Coupe Turbo. It's the draw-through turbo carbureted 3.8 liter V6. In the last video, I gave you some pointers on what we were going to do to the car. We were going to take the 87 Buick Turbo the 87 Grand National Series Turbo. It's a Garrett 60 and we fabricated it to fit the Buick, the 80 Buick. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Here we go. Here's the 1980 Turbo Buick. We've done a lot of work to it since the last video. I finally got everything fabricated, did a different air filter route right there, right on top of the Summit 4 barrel double pumper carburetor, and it draws through into the Garrett AR60 Turbo, the original turbo found on the 87 Buick Grand Nationals. I fabricated it to fit this 1980 draw through setup. As you see, we've had to fabricate the downpipe. We fabricated the supply type with an external wastegate right there. Nice external wastegate that dumps right out to the atmosphere. Quite a heck of a modification right there. And it runs really nice. We've also installed a nice three core radiator with electric fan. And she's come along, come a long ways. Yep, there's the four barrel carburetor. There's the exhaust section of the 1987 Buick Turbo. And as you can see, the internal wastegate valve, we welded it in place so it stays closed, therefore transforming it into an external wastegate, which reacts much better than the internal wastegate used to. So we've done a lot of mods on this car, and it's come a long way. We really like it. I'm going to start it up and let you hear it. car has come a long way and that's where we're at with it. The 1980 Buick Regal Sport Coupe converted from a Rochester quarter jet to a Holly style Summit Racing four barrel double pumper carburetor. Took the original small turbo off, replaced it with the 1987 Buick Grand Nationals style of turbo, the AR60. There's the uh, oil return line, the oil supply line, all in all. And then we converted the uh, 87 turbo from an internal wastegate, which it used to have. We welded it shut and fabricated an external wastegate. So this car has come a long way. We also had to switch the, uh, the turbo or the compressor's discharge. We had to switch the direction in it so it would go right to the intake manifold. See how we did that there? We had to turn around, weld it, and used a tube, basically some radiator hose, really big one, with some good clamps and some metal tubing underneath to fabricate it to connect to the intake manifold. 
so the fuel air mixture goes right to the intake manifold. Well, there you have it, and thank you for watching Budget Boosting. And remember, knowledge is power. It's horsepower.